Hey, how's it going today, Virgo? It's Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. I'm just getting prepared to give you guys an angel card tarot reading. I'm using specifically the angel tarot deck from Doreen Virtue. So I'll be shuffling this and doing a general reading for Virgo. Um, just keep in mind, these are general readings. Um, you might not resonate with the entire reading. Just take what you can and Forget about the rest. Um, if you do want to, like a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, shoot me an email at ariesfiretarot at gmail.com. Um, just going to do a couple more shuffles here for you guys, for Virgo. So thanks for tuning in, you guys. Don't, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I've got great readings coming out once a week, and I use different decks every time for sort of a different take on advice for you guys. Um, I'm just trying to be a little more specific with my readings, which is why I have so many different decks, right? Um, these decks, like the Angel Card Tarot deck, I'm going to do one more shuffle. It's like regular tarot, but extra, right? You'll see what I'm talking about. If this is the first time you've seen this deck, your, your mind is about to get blown. Okay, Virgo, I'm going to start pulling cards here. So I've got the two of water here. I'll show you this. So the water cards in the Angel Tarot deck are similar to the cups in regular tarot, right? But you can see that these people in this card, they're, they're under the water, right? It's, it's not just a drop of water. They're like under the sea, basically, right? So... Um, the guidance on this card is a relationship that continues to grow closer, forgiveness, the positive resolution of a conflict. So that's really interesting. So if you guys have been having kind of a tough time with somebody, it doesn't necessarily need to be a um, romantic relationship. It looks like there's going to be some closure and then you guys are going to like trust each other and get along better as a result of like moving past whatever conflict there might be which is awesome. You know, it's really hard sometimes to not let um, an argument end a friendship or a relationship, but just go and talk to people, right? Because you, you don't want to just end a relationship with anybody on a little spat like that. Okay, so I've got the king of air here. This is a really interesting follow-up card to this one, the positive resolution of a conflict. So here, I'll show you this card right here. So you can see this king, he's riding very confidently on his white horse. Um, I can't even tell what's going on in the background there. Oh, there's a whole bunch of, oh, these are all unicorns, you guys. If you can see, here, I'll try to get this with no glare. You see all these little faces in the background? <laughs> They're all unicorns, right? So what's the guidance? So the energy that the King of Air brings to you is to be brilliant and to be impartial. Impartial, sorry. Um, use diplomacy. Um, and then further below here, it says, speak your mind with confidence, seek out professional advice, and balance mental and emotional considerations. Which is really interesting, following up on the Two of Waters, saying that like having um, a good resolution to a conflict. And it's sort of giving you the technique on how to get there. Like... Be professional in your speaking um, just because something might involve an emotional situation doesn't mean you have to speak with emotion, right? Because that, that's how things escalate. You just feed off of other people's anger, right? So speak with confidence. And if you need to seek out professional advice, you might need to see a counselor or whatever, which is cool. Um, and balance mental and emotional considerations. Yeah, which is not always easy when you're involved, if it's family or something like that, or a spouse or somebody like you're dating and you get into um, a little argument. It's amazing how fast things can escalate. So the third card here, um, third card here, sorry, the four of earth. So this card, this card is related to the four of pentacles in regular tarot. Um, I'll read the guidance. Being too frivolous or too cautious with money, 
good business decisions, giving to those less fortunate. Okay, so it looks like this person has a set of wings on them, right? If you look carefully here at these at the artwork here, but they've got a satchel of coins and it's sort of flung out in front of them. So it doesn't really look to me like this person is paying attention to their money. And oh, if you look closer here, there's somebody that could be like sneaking in and making off with the money. So I'm kind of getting the sense here that there could be some sort of disagreement about money, right? Um, so maybe, maybe you need um, like a financial advisor to help you and whoever this third party person is, like it could be your spouse, like I said, or it could be your parents or whatever. It could be your children. And it looks like you have two different views on how finances should be managed. Um, like being too frivolous or too tight with money is uncomfortable. Um, like everybody should definitely have a budget and you figure out how much you have at the end of every like pay cycle or a month or whatever that you can spend on like luxury items like going out for meals or like clothes shopping or whatever and maybe that's what you need is somebody to give you some sort of budgeting advice even though there's like plenty of programs like software that can do that for you I just do a excel spreadsheet Oh, and this card wants to get red. I'm not even going to look at it right now. Um, <clears throat> like I do a column of what's coming in, and then I do a column of what's going out, and then I subtract one from the other, and what's left is like if I want to go out for lunch or, or whatever, right? Go for a movie or whatever. But um, money is quite a hotly contested um, topic. Um, I used to write a sex and relationship article for this this um, zine called Cockroach, and one of the subjects that I covered was how people in relationships, it doesn't need to be a romantic relationship, how it can affect their relationships, but with regards to love relationships, um, money is one of the top three reasons that people get divorced because they just can't see eye to eye on what to spend it on, like how much money to spend on housing and all of that stuff. So that's what I'm seeing here um, with the King of Air. If you are having trouble with finances, just go talk to somebody or get the software, like I said. Um, but anyway, I was shuffling the um, Archangel Guidance cards and one popped out. So it's face down right now. I don't even know what it's gonna say, but I'm gonna turn it over and we'll have a look at it together. Shiny. I can't read backwards, so hold on for a second. So this is balance. Unbelievable. Like, that's the whole tone of this reading, right? Balance. Archangel Zachael. The need for balance and moderation. Cooperation and compromise. Wait for perfect timing. Really interesting Archangel guidance related to the rest of three cards because it basically sums up what these cards um, built the foundation for. Um, just be diplomatic with each other. Um, balance off your conversations, right? Cooperation and compromise. Like life is a compromise. Like maybe one of you likes to spend too much. Maybe one of you is, is like, worried about money constantly to the point where you're not having any fun at all but there does have to be balance and moderation and everything um in this relationship that is being depicted in the the two of water it can continue to thrive if you guys sort of take more of a business approach to it and kind of leave emotion out of it especially with money Man, I've seen some huge arguments based on money. 
So um, yeah, take the advice of Archangel Zachael here. And yeah, be balanced and moderate and wait for perfect timing to bring subjects up. Like we don't just pounce on people, right? We, um, we actually wait for the moment to present itself and it always will. If you kind of have something planned that you wanna say and you kind of are like, okay, you rehearsed it a little bit, which is also a good thing. Um, and then you just kind of sit back and wait. I find that the path opens itself up. So um, yeah, I hope this helps anybody that's sort of having a hard time with a partner or parents, children, whoever, you know, um, your boss, maybe you want more money. I think this is a pretty interesting reading and, and just keep in mind that you can talk out anything, right? So I hope this was helpful to some of you Virgos out there. If so, like, make sure you tell me about it in the comments or hit the like button and remember to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. So I'll leave it there for now, Virgo. Thanks so much for tuning in. Take care. Stay blessed. Bye.